Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. This is the Doctor and we are continuing our look at the Avenger class battle cruiser. Today we're going to do the Voth STFs and I do call them STFs because they are uh, missions that you team up with in teams of five just like the other STFs. Uh, you have a choice of marks however so that is unique but uh, you can mainly you can use these to get your Dyson Sphere commendation mark and Voth cybernetic implants. Uh, with these missions to do the da, uh, the uh, Voth whole Dyson Sphere or um, whatever it's called Dyson yeah Dyson Sphere reputation thing um, I have not done these a lot I have done these maybe a couple of times I am by no means a pro at uh, these two STFs we're going to do today and that is the Breach and Storming the Spire. Also, because there is a normal and an elite version, that's another thing that just lends toward it being called an STF. It's because only STFs have that dual version by having a normal and an elite version. And I am going to run the elite version, and I'm going to queue up the regular, as you can see here, um, PVEQ. So it will be completely random whoever I get. I have no idea. Hopefully they will know how to play it and it will go smoothly, although there is the chance that it could be totally screwed up and be a whole lot of fun to watch. You never know what you're going to end up with. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do that and um, I'm going to do both of them. Do the Breach Elite and then Storming the Spire and I'll kind of explain it as we go along, but like I said, I haven't done them a lot myself so I am by no means a pro. I'm probably going to do something, end up doing something wrong, uh, but they are a good test of our ship because we get to go versus the Voth and we uh, get to test maneuverability in the Breach. And I'm going to start with the Breach because it's the more fun one in my opinion and uh, it's uh, in a Voth city ship so that is a lot of fun. I'm just going to go ahead and join it right now. Maybe we can get on it without me having to pause the video. Also let me know how the um, volume goes. Uh, I have uh, just changed a couple of things on the volume, mic volume and effects volume, and uh, sometimes you may hear me pounding on my keyboard a lot. I do that. Uh, I, I pound that spacebar key um, a lot. And uh, you may hear those keys in the microphone. I apologize for that. This keyboard is extremely loud and this microphone is very sensitive. So um, cool. So we're going to get in one right now. Don't even have to wait. Uh, so, uh, maybe one day in the future I can get a more quiet keyboard, but uh, if you hear it, just try to put it out of your mind. So here we go, this is uh, the Breach, and basically we have to breach a Voth city ship, that's the whole thing, fly through it and destroy it. It's got like a ton of cores you have to take out in the main core, then you have to escape it, and um, that's kind of cool. Actually, it's a lot of cool. <laughs> I like it better than the other one. All right, the Voth Fortress ship is vulnerable. It's time to attack. Our plan is death by a thousand cuts. We'll disrupt the fortress's integrity field by destroying multiple nodes across the hole. Once that complete, you'll be able to breach the hole and attack from the inside. Use the trenches to navigate at speed around the, the Voth Fortress. Destroy hard points and destroy integrity field nodes. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go to uh, strategic maneuvering mode. Well, actually, I don't need to because he just buffed me for that. So I went ahead and did command weapon efficiency, and then he just buffed all of us with strategic maneuvering. So that is now effect on my ship. Remember, that is plus 10 flight speed and plus 3 turn rate. That is very useful. Uh, you will find that very useful. Also, you're going to find fire at will very useful in this mission as well, I found out. So there's the Voth City ship. We have to basically um, assault it and destroy hard points on it and uh, destroy integrity field nodes. And that is going to allow us to breach it. Now you can fly all around the outside, sure. I like to fly right through the middle and there are integrity nodes in the middle. Now you get this little speed boost. The uh, Voth city ship has this speed boost. Now hit fire at will and basically you just fire as you go down the ship, just like this. And then when we get to one of the integrity nodes, we'll stop right here, and uh, we'll take this, this beast out. All of this has to go. Oh, and the uh, Voth uh, Bulwark Battleship will uh, spawn, and I need it to actively heal because I'm dying. I was not watching what I was doing there. 
Ooh, that was tough. I almost died. See how quickly the bombs can uh, destroy you if you're not watching what you're doing? And I wasn't. I was trying to talk to you guys and not watching what I'm doing. Okay, now that we destroyed that field node, see our assault went way up now. We're at 26. Now again, we just go through here and uh, destroy all these hard points. And we should get a speed boost here. I'm not in the plasma area. There's our speed boost. And uh, just keep on flying through. Yeah, avoid those ruptures. Plasma exhaust or something like that. 30% of our assaults. Oh crap, my head went up. And here comes another big node we can take out. Now remember, a bulwark's gonna spawn. There it is. Now it has that shield on right now. That makes it invulnerable. So you have to wait until that shield comes down before you can do damage to it. Oh, crap. Now we can do damage to it. And now I think I'm about to die. Ugh, see what I mean by this being a real good test of our ship? This is almost more devastating than the board stuff is. Holy crap, I took damage like the mofo. That was a ton of damage. Okay, where's my speed boost? Come on, speed boost. Come on, speed boost. Where are you? There you are. Took long enough. Okay, and they've already seen their way ahead of me, so they've already destroyed all the hard points along the area. Basically, now we just fly right out the other end. So this is cool. I mean, this is like a really big ship. Destroy these little hard points along the way. Now, there are more nodes. As you fly around the sides of the ship and down here, see, there's more nodes down here. Hit them, too. Don't forget to hit them. But try to follow your, your team because, honestly, the, when those bulwarks pop out, those do a whole lot of damage, and uh, you, you really need the help of your team. Thankfully, there's no time limit on this, so you can take all the time you need, but as you fly around the ship, see there's these nodes all along the ship. Those are the nodes, and this is more than a ship, really. This is like a city ship. So let's help this guy here. There's a bulwark that popped. To see his inf infinite, his uh, shield is up right now, so we can't do damage here. Okay, let's see what we take out all these turrets and then the main integrity set, this middle part is the main integrity field mode. There we go. So now we're up to 72 percent. See that really uh, that really helped a lot right there. I'm gonna follow the team. I'm not sure which way they're going. You can try to do it alone. I guess if you have a really good ship, really beefy ship honestly, you could probably do one alone but uh, best to follow the team anyway. And you will get a speed boost uh, along the way. Like that. And now we come upon another node. Really have to actively heal a lot in this Even with this cruiser I'm running. I mean, it, these, 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 all these cannon turrets, this small walk, all of it just decimates the ship. Eighty-eight percent, almost there. Almost there. Now, 
wow, that did a lot of damage. Now, uh, there aren't any here. We have, we, I think we need to go to the other side. Oh, there, yeah, there are some on, like, the side of the ship, too, I believe. Yeah, there are some, like, yeah, they're, like, all over the place. So there's, see, there's one up here, so let's go toward it. Let's, looks like where this guy's going. We'll follow him. They're all over the place, really. Shouldn't have too much trouble finding one. Up to 89, up to 90%. Take out this one and we'll probably be there. Warning, the ship is under attack. failed rally with your team and blast a hole in the side of the ship so now what we can do is it's at the other side of the ship but instead of flying there all you have to do is hit the button rally and you rally all together here at the same spot and now we just have to take all this out literally all of this has to go 35 but you just go up here and fire at will really becomes handy here stuff has opened up here. We need to fly into this thing now. We've got to clear the fortress hangar, defeat Voth ships, close hangar doors, optional uh, capture rescued ships. I like to get the optional if I can. So now we're inside the ship and this is the part I was telling you about that's where maneuver- ooh, a little uh, hitch there. Uh, maneuvering becomes handy as you fly through all these corridors. Uh, basically it's just like coming in here now and destroying everything and saving ships. That's the goal. So now, here we go up against a whole bunch of moth ships. This is really where beams come in handy. I know cannons can do a lot of damage, but look how many ships there are here in this, uh, in this thing. Uh, beams really come in handy because you can take on so many multiple targets at once. So I think that the moth STFs really lend themselves to showing the strengths of beam boats. That's my opinion. Because look at it. Look how many enemies I'm having to take on at once. But I can do that with beams. It's just a madhouse of crap going on right now. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm firing at, and just, I'm just firing. Let's take out this bastion. If that's not gonna test your ship, I don't know what is. That was a load of fun, though. Um, now, to close the hangar doors, what we're basically doing is destroying each enemy. Like, there's a hangar door, there's a hangar door. We're destroying the enemy that's around the hangar door. And as we destroy that enemy, the hangar door closes. I don't know 
why it's necessary to close the hangar doors, I just know we have to. You can see where maneuverability really comes in handy as you're trying to navigate through all these enemies and destroy them all. Uh, maneuverability is big. Let's see, I'm only on command right now. My maneuverability went away. One shield, two now. Okay, so we have the, um, we've cleared the fortress hangar. It is time to continue and I'm continuing the wrong way. Stay with the team. So again, see maneuverability here. You gotta find where you're going and make sure you get through the right corridors. And uh, as we turn, look at that. There's my turn rate, as you see, at full impulse. That's important. On a big, slow ship, that turn right there is real hard to make. But on this ship, it's so maneuverable, it flies through with ease. And I love that. I love that. Oh, crap. Here we go. Right. The biggins. Okay, we gotta defeat... Uh, Voth Dreadnoughts. This is the Dreadnought Bay. Uh, this is also where the uh, ships are that you need to rescue as well. That's right. We need to come down here to each corner and uh, make sure we save ships. ships are already captured. We're doing good. They are um, saved, I mean, not captured. Again, it's a lot of maneuvering having to go on here as we uh, maneuver around to like each little alcove, I guess, <laughs> to save these ships. Little area. There are uh, tractor beams that will get in your way too. Pushing me around and everything. You can destroy them. Still four. Uh, are there any up here we need to deal with? I'm not sure. Now this one we have to defeat. I think there's more we need to rescue, but I think that's further in. Okay, now we have to defeat the Voth Dreadnought, and his Infinity Shield, or Invulnerable Shield, not Infinity, Invulnerable Shield is up, so you need to wait till it comes down. Can't do anything until it's down. Is under attack. Not going to do any damage to him until that comes down. Now it's down. Now, this is fun. <laughs> Taking down this uh, dreadnought. It's not very maneuverable, as you can see how slow it's moving. But uh, we are man pretty maneuverable. So far, it really hadn't hit me. Oh, there goes its shield again. See, when it puts up that shield, you really just can't do a lot of damage to it. Ow. Something killed my shield. There we go. Someone did some with nucleon beam on it. We're doing good. I'm gonna hit. Um, okay, yes. Vault thread not gone. Now, engineering chamber. Destroy sub power cores. Now we need to destroy the sub power cores. I'm gonna go into maneuverability mode. See, now I'm turning uh, a little bit better now. Uh, that's gonna help me as we fly through this more. We now have to go to the sub power cores. 
again, a lot of maneuverability here as we fly through the corridors. In a big ship, hard to turn, but this ship, so easy and fun. Yeah, oh, another sharp turn here. You don't go through that big door. See, a lot of little turns like that would be okay. Let's go into this mode. Now, here is again where we need to save ships. These little uh, conglomeration of ships in each corner, you gotta save them. If you, if you want the optional, it's optional, of course. But I like the option. More points. Oh, okay, somebody's pushing that ship away. Relays yet until you clear all the um, all the all, all the optionals that you want, all the rescue ships. Wait until uh, you get those cleared, and then start doing the power core thing. Okay, got a lot. sub power core um, fire at it. It's going to jump between all three of these, so you just got to open them and see where it is. And they close and it moves to another one. Where it moves to, I don't know. Uh, but this is where maneuverability can come in handy, so I should probably go to that mode. Ah, now I'm stuck. Four shields failing. there's a pattern to this. I'm sure somebody's probably figured it out. I don't know it. Okay, now we gotta go to the main power core. The Voth main power core. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the fake one. Okay. So now we 
go. Ah, oh, crap. See, that's why I like science team. I can get out of things like that. Okay, now let's go through here, stick to maneuverability mode, and uh, go on to the main core. Now, the main core is just basically blast the thing until it blows up, and it takes a lot of firepower. to get to where the open side is and follow it, but I can't quite get there, so I'll go the other way. A lot of healing here. <laughs> A lot of healing. I need to be so close to it. Try not to die here. Now, after we destroy the core, we have to escape the uh, ship before it explodes. If we don't, we lose points. If, if, if everybody, though, escapes, you get uh, extra points. So the goal is you want everybody in your team to escape. So I'm going to go into the um, uh, strategic maneuvering mode um, when it's time to escape. And I'm going to save my evasive maneuvers. You definitely want evasive maneuvers so you can get out quickly. It's almost destroyed, and you gotta look for the breach once it's destroyed. Okay, it's gonna be destroyed. I'm going into maneuvering mode right now. There's where we need to. Uh, it's not where we escape. There should be an explosion, a hole somewhere to go. that way. Alright, escape. Now you got like 40 seconds or so to get out. If everybody gets out, uh, you get all your points. If not everybody gets out, you do not get your points. So, uh, we need to go fast. Go fast. I don't want to be the sole person who keeps the team from getting all their points. So yeah, strategic maneuvering mo mode, uh, full impulse, you want out of there. And that's it. It's over. We win. Now we'll get a dialogue box. Oh boy. That was fun. Alright, one, zero, now it's over. There we go. Mark the package. Let's see, we got assault completed, 25 points for that. Power core destroyed, 25 points for that. Allied ships saved, seven. Players escaped, all five of us escaped, so we get all of our points. So we got for that um, marked package, multiple choice, Voth cybernetic implants, 480 dilithium, and one Dyson Joint Command commendation. That is what you get for that. So we can go to our marked box and we can use that for fleet marks or we can use that for Dyson sphere marks. Now because I'm already getting a Dyson commendation from that, uh, you'll see that here, Dyson commendation 2. Um, I've, only, I've already done it once on this character, so now here's the second time I've done it. That's two. That's all I need to run the daily Dyson com uh, Dyson Di Dyson Dyson uh, reputation mission. Therefore, instead of using the box for Dyson marks, I don't need Dyson marks because I'm just going to use the accommodation. So I'm going to use the use it for fleet marks because I'm trying to get more fleet stuff still. So I'm going to use that for fleet marks. But you could use it for Dyson marks if you wanted. And anyway, there's the big city ship. Even though you destroy the core, the ship remains. <laughs> uh, you would think the whole thing would blow up, but I suppose not. 
Anyway, keep in mind this city ship, as big as it is, is inside the Dyson Sphere. I mean, that just tells you, I mean, you could have a, probably a thousands of thousands of these ships inside here. I'm so big. Anyway, that is um, Into the Breach. Elite. That's the hardest mode. I think that's a good test of your ship abilities. Uh, healing, damage, doing a bunch of damage, um, staying alive. The Voth uh, are very powerful, a very powerful enemy. A maneuverability in the ship. Um, that's all very good. So I think that's a great test. And I think you guys will agree with that, hopefully. But that is uh, into the, bre or the breach. So, I mean, gosh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm now going to uh, queue up, as you see here, Storming the Spire, which is basically, again, inside the Dyson Sphere. And we have to protect a spire. The, uh, we're, we're, the, uh, the Federation is trying to get their troops into the spire to take it over and um, the Voth are also trying to do the same and destroy us at the same time so we have to protect our troops we have to protect transports we're gonna get right in this is awesome and uh, protect the spire and all that stuff now you can I guess potentially lose this if you let the Voth get control the big thing here is that you're gonna have wave after wave after wave of Voth so you need to protect your troops trying to get into the Voth spire and, uh, yeah. I've only played this one once. Yes, only one time. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I probably did it wrong. Anyway, uh, Captain, the Voth has sent a small fleet to try to capture one of the Spires. Our orders are to stop them and try to capture it for ourselves. It won't be safe to send in ground forces until we can repel the Voth's, Voth's initial attack. Then we can start transporting boardy parties to, boarding parties to the Spire. So first we got to get it so that we can get boarding parties to the spire and then once the boarding parties start um, then we have to protect it from uh, from Voth trying to destroy our boarding parties so there's kind of like two kinds of things you have to do here oh, and then the third and final one is I guess a dreadnought pops and we have to take that out and there's also an optional there's shuttles at the end that will start leaving and you if you save or no if you destroy those shuttles or something like that uh, that's part of the optional, but it's hard to do because they're on two separate sides of the spire. Anyway, we'll, when we get there, I'll show you what I mean. But again, this is a good test for maneuverability and uh, taking on Voth. So it's really good if you split up on this one if you can, uh, because there's a lot of points to defend and, and, and control and all that kind of stuff you're trying to do. So I'm going to hit this one hard. around here okay they got that cleared out good you need to clear these little ports out so that the um, our troops can um, land on the spire that's where our troops land up here too don't forget those there's some up there and once you clear that out there are six of them as you can see then our troops can land in their transports Still missing one up there. I'm gonna leave it on maneuverability because I'm gonna need that to move around a lot, to be honest with you. Okay, oh no, not all six yet. Now all six. Okay, now the assault lasts for 10 minutes. We need to protect allied troop transports and defeat Voth transports. As simple as that. Pick a side, and it's best if you split up. And protect your protect the thing. Since nobody's protecting this one, I'm gonna protect this one over here. So uh, this, you really need to take note of what your teammates are doing and make sure that you go to places that need help. Really gotta pay attention. Target shield and 
as you can see, maneuverability helps a lot. There is one of our troops being transported. We need to protect them. Again, this is where beams can really help you out because if you're not able to turn your nose to your enemy, um, your beams will still be uh, firing on them and uh, doing damage, so it doesn't matter how you turn to them. Uh, and they cloak too, the boss. Stupid cloakers. And they do that to you. Uh, there we go, Allies 15, Voth 100. Voth still have a huge leg up on us. Fire a wheel, thank you for being handy. Uh, and there we go, we're about turrets again, we need to take out. Yeah, it really helps if like everybody takes their own control point. That way you have five five uh, docking bays covered. Don't forget to cover both sides of the spire. Twenty-five out of one ten went up on the buff side. Hope we don't fail this. I've only done it once, so I don't know what happens if the buff win. I guess you do fail, I don't know. Where'd my uh, docking port go? I lost it. Where's my docking port at? I lost the darn thing. I'm out of Oh, it's over here. Target shields have failed. Okay, I need it. They gotta finish. Gotta get them to finish. I think they did. That's a good thing. out so they can land. Oh, there we go. That one's being taken over. If I didn't have so many people on me, I would go over there and help that one. But I can't get the this Bastion Cruiser wants to fight.
don't even know what's going on. There's just so much firing around me. There's just so much. I'm doing everything I can to stay alive and not die. I just hope everybody's protecting their docking bay. I don't want to see people out there defending, you know, fighting ships. I want to see them defending their docking bay so people can land. Come on. Gotta get the troops on board. Target shield has failed. Bulwark on my butt. <laughs> Come on. You're throwing everything at me, aren't you? You are really testing my abilities. And my fingers. Yes, I defeated you. I feel victorious. We are victorious. Okay, but I think ultimately we're gonna lose. BAM! The Voth are taking Omega Molecules from the Spire. We need to stop the Omega Shuttles and the Voth Dreadnoughts. Dun dun dun. So here's where the optional comes in. What's going to happen is there's going to be a Voth Dreadnought out here. You got to take that down. But also, shuttles on the other side are going to be leaving and you got to stop them. So you got to do both at the same time. Now that's difficult. I guess you just have to decide what you want to do. And I don't know if there's a time limit. I forgot. Okay, there is. A, there's a three-minute time limit. Optional, destroy escape shuttles. Optional, destroy dreadnought. There's the dreadnought. So what, what do you want to do? Destroy the shuttles or destroy the dreadnought? I guess your team has to decide that. This team is defeating the shuttles. So I got like four people out there doing shuttles. Well, I might as well try to go with take down the dreadnought. Hey, if we can get both, that would be awesome. Ship is under attack. I'm going to give it my best. You only 
only got three minutes. Vulnerability shield. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this alone. No. No, this is not a good idea. No, this is a bad idea. A very bad idea. What am I doing? Yeah, I can't even see anything now. It's awesome. Oh, good. I'm right on top of it. Got one person helping me, but yeah, that's not going to be enough. I need to get out of the way so that I can fire on it. Let's do a little side firing, shall we? Then try to hit him with my Omega Torque. Around, do that, bam. Go back to side firing. Blowing so much, I can't even see. We got a minute and a half. Not gonna make it. I don't know which is more lucrative uh, taking down the dreadnought or saving the shuttles. I don't know which one will give you more points, more loot, more whatever, more reward. Oh crap. I hate it when it does that. I don't think we're gonna destroy this thing in time. We need more ships on it. Well, I gave it a valiant effort. Twenty seconds. Ooh, I got their shields offline. Something offline, anyway. Well, okay, we're not gonna make this. Not the best run. My first run I did was better than this, but we tried. We tried, and you got to see this ship in action. So that's pretty hard. Command reports that ground forces have landed on the alien base of ha and have engaged the Voth. We've done all we can. Good work. Total allied troops landed 155. Total Voth troops landed 190, so we didn't do good there. Allied base controlled by allies, only 45%, so the Voth really have control of this base. Omega shuttles destroyed 25, so they did destroy a lot. The Voth dreadnought, des dreadnought destroyed. It says 50 of 50, but I don't think we destroyed it. I don't know why it says we did. Interesting. I did get 75 Omega points, total points 120. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's probably terrible. <laughs> but it is what it is. Multiple choice mark package, Voth cybernetic implants, 240 dilithium. So yeah, we didn't get a lot of dilithium for that. That leads me to believe we did not do a very good job. And only 35 marks. So yeah, again, I do not think we did a very good job there. But that shows you that there's room for improvement. But this does also show you that, boy, that's a good test of your ship. I mean, wow, wave after wave of just non-stop Voth. You saw me there. It was just like, it was just non-stop Voth. And then the dreadnought at the end, and then the maneuverability, trying to get to the different docking ports and, uh, and turn around and get your ship firing. Uh, you can see where cannons could be a disadvantage uh, because they, when your ship is turning or you're turning towards your enemy, you can't quite get your cannons there fast enough and there's so many enemies but with beams wow you can just hit them all at once especially with fire at will so I think that the breach and this and the storming the spire are really good candidates for showing the benefits of uh, beam weapons and that's good because up until now it's pretty much been cannons are op but uh, you know these kind of like you know hey let's do a really good you know, beefy ship too, not just a beam boat, but a beefy beam boat. Because both of these really tested the metal of your ship as far as sustainability and not dying and exploding into smithereens. Uh, so these are really good tests. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these for all the ships I show, but I think you will see with the Avenger what I have learned doing these is that it's a pretty sustainable ship. I mean, you have to actively heal yourself a whole lot. 
but I mean, you know, if you do that, I mean, I really didn't blow up once. I was able to survive. I was able to stay alive, and that's important. And then with the beams, I was able to really take, you know, do a lot of damage to multiple enemies at once. Um, the ship is also very maneuverable for a cruiser, and I find that very important, especially in these two STFs. Maneuverability for me was just really important to have. I, I had, I did try a slower ship in these. I actually tried the Voth Battle Cruiser originally, in uh, to to figure out and learn these STFs, or at least to try them for the first time. And boy, it was so slow inside of the Voth City ship turning. I was running into walls and everything. So maneuverability is a big thing. I just, I just have to stress that. And the uh, Avenger is super awesome at being able to do that inside uh, that those missions. So there you go. There's the Voth SDFs, and wow, I love them. They're they're awesome. They're good. And uh, I'm I'm now up to. I, I guess I didn't get a Dyson commendation for that. So that one doesn't give out commendations. I thought it would. Or what did I do wrong? Or maybe you don't get one if. You do, you do so poorly in it. But I could have sworn you would get an accommodation. I guess not. No, it says it right there. Storming the Spire. It says you're supposed to get a Dyson Sphere commendation mark. Oh, daily Dyson Sphere. Oh. So you can only ever earn one commendation mark a day. And it doesn't matter how many of these you do. You can only ever earn one a day, so it, it doesn't matter. You, there's no reason to do both of them, except to earn Dyson Marks themselves and the implants. But other than that, if you want the commendation, you really only need to do one a day. And uh, not both, because you can only earn one a day. Okay, well anyway, I, I it's beneficial in the fact that I got fleet marks for it. And the fleet marks are what I need a lot of too because there's a uh, warp core I want and consoles and everything. So it's all beneficial really. Um, anyway, I found that a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. Um, and you got to really see the Avenger now in s some really hard stuff, you know, PVE at least. And um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. The next video I'm going to do some other PVE cues. Uh, definitely do a fleet, a fleet star base one and then something else to test its metal. But uh, there you go, Voth STFs on the Avenger. Awesome sauce, I hope you love. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next.